Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Art Verhoeven from Art Lights, and in this video, I want to show you how to create a position picker with the attribute picker plugin. Therefore, we go to the MA on PC where I already have the color picker and uh, all the macros that are related to the color picker uh, like just like I showed in in my previous videos now what we're going to do is to load the attribute picker plugin I've already installed the attribute picker plugin on the USB device so the only thing I have to do now is run the plugin loader again which is the same plugin loader as the color picker uh, plugin loader uh, and if I run this plugin loader it automatically finds the attribute picker which is now on uh, the USB device and loads its macros and as you can see it also uh, eliminates the create color picker macro and it substitutes it for the create attribute picker macro uh, so if we uh, want to create attribute pickers then one thing we should do is to recreate the icons library the icons library here only has fixtures it's nice for the color picker but uh, now we will need more uh, images and with the attribute picker uh, plugin uh, lots of extra images uh, come in the pack so let's recreate this one we use the existing values so it comes at the same uh, place everything will be set at the same place and now it asks if we want to include position points yes these are images points of, of different positions uh, then we have position beams other uh, images for positions in forms of, of beams you can see them later and also we have instruments or and then we have uh, other images for gobos uh, we have gobos for different fixture types and you can add uh, later gobos for other fixture types create them for every fixture type that you want uh, then we have some different beam images for zooms and for flash and we also have special images for uh, the um, the LED washes that have the different rings that you can select. You can select the colors for it. I'll include all the images that are there. If you see there, you can see there 111 uh, different uh, images. Well, it's 222 images and 111 different buttons that are created now. So if I go back now to the image library do a zoom to fit and we can see all the images that are included in the pack uh, okay let's restore this one here please and so now i'm ready to create my position picker uh, let's go to create attribute picker and the first thing it will ask is the type number uh, this refers to the types numbers that are up in your screen and uh, I'm, we're going to write the position which is type number two uh, the position group range okay we didn't check this out so let's uh, do an X here X is to console to board so we are aborted by user and now we're going to look at the group range and for the positions we have beams, spot, quantum wash and robin wash that have all positions, position information, the rest of the fixture does not have position information 
and I don't want a group that shows all my fixtures to the same place. Uh, I just keep with these four groups. So it will be group two, three, four, and five. Two until five. And uh, the next thing it will ask is uh, for the position uh, presets. As you can see, we've got 15 presets here. So that's an important day to remember. Let's go back to create attribute picker. Position type was three. Oh no, it was three. It was two. I'm sorry. Two, which is the position. And group range two through four, uh, five. Two and through five. And then position. Uh, preset range we said it's 1 through 15 and then the layout number uh, I'll keep these to default values depends on your show where that you have space for it the wide for screen 1 is 11 wide and 4 height and uh, these I also get on the keep on the, the default uh, places it depends very much on your show. Well, that's actually uh, the hard work is done. Well, the hard work is doing uh, the plugin right now. It's creating 60 sequences, 60 macros, and 60 images to fill our uh, position picker. So let's see how that looks like. And more or less, it looks like this. Uh, you can see that the colors, we now have horizontal colors. And uh, let's store this one here. One minute, uh, please. In the color picker, we had uh, vertical colors because these are the colors that uh, the fixtures will have. Here we have horizontal colors, which correspond to the colors that we assigned uh, to the groups that we're using. So it's important that before you create the position picker, you assign colors to your different groups. You can assign it uh, simply to press assign three times. And it comes appearance here. And you click the group you want to assign a color to, and then you choose the color you want. And then you have the color assigned to a group. So, uh, now we have our position picker and we want to add some images of different positions. Uh, as you've seen, that you can see that the first position is a locate, for example. So we go to the image library and this might be a nice locate symbol. Uh, you can create your own symbols. In another video, I'll show you how to. Uh, so if we assign this symbol to the first preset, then you can see that all for all fixtures, this preset will have the same symbol. Uh, I have all pre all presets are created for all fixtures. So all fixtures have a locate, have front left, have uh, 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 an audience or public or whatever. Okay, that's all for this video. It's a short one. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and that uh, you will enjoy to work with the attribute picker. And the next video, I'll show you how to create a global picker.